First of all, before I give you my, my response, because you might need some drink for that, let's cheers. All right. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kachi with an E. Um, I am a media and PR specialist and a part time musician. My name is Chibi Kim Konko. I am a daily trader. I trade for like 11 trade cryptocurrencies. Um, what I'm looking for in a man okay, the four things I normally look for is intellect, humor, passion, and confidence because they all balance out each other. You have to be able to be as funny as me. My ideal partner should just be full of vibes. I'm more like the spiritual side of life, so it's not really physical. It's more about how you make me feel. You have to be able to be as confident as me as well because you can't love yourself who else will, right? You have to come with like positive energy and like good vibes. My hobbies include going to the beach. I absolutely love the beach. I'm a beach bum, honestly. I like making money and I love swimming and I just love being free. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much me. Um, I love to sing, hence the musician part. I love to listen to music as well. And did I mention I love to sing? Really, really do. Hi, how are you doing? Good, to you. Touchy, nice to meet you. Right. How's your day going? Uh, it's going well so far, so good. At least I was able to beat traffic and get here, so yeah. that's one good thing off my list. How long did it take you to get here? Uh, at least like 30 minutes plus, but it would have been more if I didn't leave earlier from where I was. She felt like kind of like a vibe, or like she just opened up. She's like open to like um, experiencing like life and like different aspects different dimensions and all. <laughs> my first impression of Chippy is <laughs> like skin. He's he was actually like a a calm feeling to me. I felt like he's a chill guy which I'm pretty sure he is. So but where are you from? I am from Emo State actually. Where are you from? I don't know. Yeah. So uh, we're neighbors. I mean, yeah kind of. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> that was funny because most times I don't always bank on meeting evil people, like especially in settings like this. I was so sure it was going to be your bad person. I don't know why. I have a lot of your bad friends. Just let's, let's keep it that way. So the question is, what is your love language? My love language. Uh, I kind of like talking a lot, so it's more of like words huh. mixed with like action a bit. Just, but it's more of like eighty percent words, like twenty percent action. action. I, I would not even lie, I'm more of words as well, but in terms of it being forms of affirmation, because I, I like when people or the person I date or the person I'm in love with can resonate with me intellectually, not just physically. Because yeah. a lot of people, you see someone and like, oh, she's cute, or he's cute, this and that, and they like that immediately, but they don't go in depth to understanding the person properly until it's too late. I mean, even if you need words of affirmation, you don't need to always tell the person they're pretty just to get out of trouble. Because you know a lot of guys like to do that. I feel you. Yeah, it's yeah. very annoying. Like, I know I just look like shit. You don't need to tell me that. I no, like, I get what you're trying. It's just more like the deeper level of like mm -hmm. understanding like what do you mean? who we are, like the being that we are, you know. Do, do you understand who you are? <laughs> I do, I do. I do know who I am. That's why I kind of like present myself in like the way I am. Um, I try not to like change for like people. For what is worth, you can conform or try and compromise, but you shouldn't have to change. I don't feel like compromising, you know. You do oh, I, I mean, they say guys are supposed <laughs> to compromise, but then it's like, if I truly want to do something, I'll just do it for you, you know. It's not about like, they don't, we don't have to like compromise. Like, okay, if I want to go out, I'll go out because I want to go out. Mm. I don't have to like compromise something. So I like, go out, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It's like I'll make time instead of like trying to give excuses on why I should okay. make time. Okay, I, I, I can understand it a little bit from your perspective yeah. because the truth is we're all supposed to compromise. Guys just sometimes have that whole sentence that you just said that 
guys are supposed to compromise because they think it's some kind of stereotypical um, 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 factor that they have to do in every relationship. No, everybody has to pull their weight, but you have to be able to balance that weight, not just overdo when it fits you or when it suits you or when it suits your girl. You All right. Okay, let's say I was supposed to cook food, right? First of all, the question is can you cook? I can actually cook. Oh, really? Not I, just boil water. I went to uni, so. Stew, no, I can actually ketchup. cook. <laughs> I didn't immediately believe it, but I can give him the benefit of the doubt because that's what I do. But let's say you went out and then you go back home mm -hmm. and I cook food. Would you see that as me compromised and you know, me just thinking, oh, she hasn't eaten today? I think I should just, you know, make food. That's, that's not compromise. Yeah. That's like an act of service. Like you get what I'm trying to say. So it shouldn't be like. It shouldn't be like. Not a thought shouldn't be like compromising when you're just doing it from like your heart it's like something you're meant to do it's like if i help you out you don't even have to tell me thank you because i wanted to help you out like a lot of times i always have that at the back of my head because most times they feel it's, it's even good you use the, um an example like cooking because yeah. most times like i'm where did you school by the way for uni uh brighton, brighton. Uh, oh you school in jant yeah. So you're aware of all them girls that decide, even if it's here, anywhere over there, it's across all boundaries or countries, that once you have some girl that you like, or a girl that you fancy, or at least she thinks so, she has to come to your house to cook for you and stuff like that. So some guys actually feel very um, entitled, yeah. quote unquote, that once we're involved in something, they have to cook, you have to cook for me. So it's good that you use that example because most times it's not a lot of guys that would say that like, oh, mm -hmm. just because you're out, I have to cook for you just because I think you're stressed. Because I mean, I'm pretty sure you're stressed too. Yeah, it's just about like balance on like both mm -hmm. sides, you know. It's mm -hmm. like two people just, like I don't believe in love, right? Uh -huh. Because like, you can't, you can't say love. It's just, it's like partnership. It's like two people coming together, trying to like make the best out of it. So, so it's a meeting, it's a contract. Yes. I mean, I'm not too surprised, to be honest. Um, a lot of people sometimes have that notion or have that idea. But something always changes it later on. Might not be me. I don't know. But it changes. So your partnership is something you're trying to like maximize profits and like, you know, do the best you can to like create like a better environment for that thing. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? It's so it can't be love. It's just, it's care in a sense. But when you put love into it, it becomes fantasy. First of all, before I give you my, my response, because you might need some drink for that, let's cheers. Alright. <laughs> cheers. So, you said you believe love is a fantasy. Yeah. More or less like it's what unrealistic. Why do you say so? Because, like, uh, people's definition of love isn't what love is. Okay. Love exists in, like, this kind of dual sense. So, it's like, love, and then it's like, hate right mm -hmm. so if it's love and it's hate right anything that makes you feel pain is hate anything that makes you feel joy is love and like, you can't like mix the two up like, if something you. makes you feel angry that thing is hurting you so that's pain and if something makes you happy and smile and jolly and that's love so it's like saying if i truly love someone my i will make that person feel pain Mm -hmm. So I respect your boundaries and I respect like you as a person and mm -hmm. who you are, what you stand for. Respect is one of the features of love. Love is all encompassing. And coming from me, it's a little weird because I would say that I'm some some way on your wavelength, but then we're just going to keep clashing with our understandings because I feel like love is a is a is a weighty terminology for a lot of other factors that come into play. It has to do with faith, it has to do with respect, it has to do with hope that the person is actually going to treat you right and be there. It has to be with strength. All right. There are so many things that feed into it. It's not just because you love someone that respect now has to be side by side with them because love factors respect. Do you know what I mean? For me, I feel when you like put labels on things, they kind of become like superficial. Like, you don't have to go around and call your sister your sister. <laughs> they just say, but then it doesn't really like show, you know. Like, how can you say like you've done something, but then you haven't done it? Yeah. Like saying I cooked, but then I didn't cook. Yeah. So how can you say you're in love, but then it doesn't show like you're in love? 
Do you feel what I'm trying to say? Some people like that affirmation. They like it. Like, uh, I don't want to call it PDA, but people like that exposure. Doesn't mean you have to do it every time, because of course, conformity comes in there. If you don't like PDA, I like PDA. Not putting us in the same box. <laughs> but, you. you know, you have to do one to appease the other and also to appease yourself. So, regardless, I, I get where you're going. Love is key, right? So, mm -hmm. obviously, if I care about you, all of that is going to be like included. Inside, yeah. Included in the care, I'm like in the whole package. <laughs> <laughs> what is your least favorite love language? And do you ever see yourself in a few years, maybe when you're 72? I don't know. Long live. <laughs> long yeah, long I live long. Long. Um, would you see yourself falling in love or at least being open to the idea of doing so? Uh, my least favorite like, love language is like, I hate people that lie. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you don't talk to somebody, and person messages you, just say I don't want to talk to you. Like don't don't add the person. Like, 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 yeah. like you, what you gain from just seeing like a message on your phone, you know, like twenty four hours after someone has messaged you. Like does it like add any value <laughs> to it? Like, <laughs> I see myself like being with somebody for the rest of my life. Like I just like oh you I want and I hold hold your hand through like pick a thing and then we go to like to death to us past like mm -hmm. that's i just feel like i'm going to be one, one person for the rest of my life so it's mm -hmm. just we have to work i don't know if it's love i just feel like we both respect each other and like we're in this together that's just what it is so, it was like a nice meal and so it was really nice too, if I, didn't say too. Like, I don't know if i complimented your shirt but i do like it thank you very much so the date was very good i enjoyed myself i like conversations anyway and he he pretty much put his own end of the bargain so i can give him that so the day went really nice it was like a chilled location i love like the artwork and the food was really really good my initial rating for chibi was going to be a four but I mean, besides my conscience, obviously, and the fact that I did have a good time, I will rate him a five. And this is only because, I mean, he's cute, he's enjoyable and all, but our views on love and the likes didn't exactly match up very well. So I feel like he needs to work a little bit on that and speed up. 7.5. Because nothing is perfect. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you ready to get right into it? Super ready. <laughs>